So in this video, we will look at the condition for parallel vectors. So two vectors V and vector W are said to be parallel. If there exists a constant, let's say lambda, such that vector V is equals to lambda vector W. So you can see that in this example 7. Determine whether vector A, which is 5i, minus 2j, plus 3k, is parallel to vector B, 10 over 3i, minus 4 over 3j, plus 2k. So let's look at the solution. First, what we do is we let vector A is equals to lambda vector B. So in this question, you can see that the vector A and B are in the form of coordinate. So first, we can change to the coordinate form and then we substitute in this formula. Coordinate A is equals to lambda coordinate B. So next, what does it do is it multiply the lambda into the coordinate of vector B. So you can see that here we have 10 over 3 lambda minus 4 over 3 lambda. And here is 2 lambda. So after that, so equate the value. So which is 5 is equals to 10 over 3 lambda, a uh, 10 over 3 lambda. Second is negative 2 is equals to negative 4 over 3 lambda. And finally, 3 is equals to 2 lambda. So after the calculation, we have the values of lambda, where each of the value of lambda are equal which is 3 over 2 so you can see the conclusion here since the value of lambda is equals to all the value of lambda is equal to 3 over 2 so vector a and vector b are parallel so next we move to exercise 7 let's say let vector a so after this i will change to coordinate form and vector b so given that vector a and vector b are parallel again this one this question is mentioned that per, uh, vector a and vector b are parallel means that vector a is equals to lambda vector b so the question is find the values of a and b so what i do is I transform vector A and vector B into coordinate form. So it's 2 over 3, negative 5 over 3, and 1 over 3. Whereas the vector B is equals to, so here is A, negative B, and 1 over 6. So since they are uh, parallel, so I can use this formula. So where the formula is a vector a which is 2 over 3 negative 5 over 3 and 1 over 3 is equals to lambda a negative b and 1 over 6. So I can multiply this lambda into the each of this coordinate. So here we have 2 over 3, negative 5 over 3, and 1 over 3 is equals to lambda, a lambda, comma, negative b lambda, and 1 over 6 lambda. So next what we do is we just do the comparison. So for the comparison, a lambda is equals to 2 over 3. So the second part here is negative b lambda is equals to negative 5 over 3. And finally, 1 over 6 lambda is equals to 1 over 3. From the third comparison, we can get the value of lambda so our lambda 
will be equals to 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 6. So if 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 6, we should get 2. So 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 6. So we should get 2. So from here, we can get the value of A and B from the first and the second comparison. So from here, A, since our lambda is 2, is equals to 2 over 3. So 2A is equals to 2 over 3. A is equals to 2 over 3 divided by 2. Suppose is 1 over 3. Here is our value of A. Now we next we move to the second comparison which is negative b, again our lambda is 2, is equals to negative 5 over 3. So here we have negative 2b is equals to negative 5 over 3. So b is equals to negative 5 over 3 divided by negative 2. So here we have 5 over 6. So if the question is mentioned about these two vectors are parallel, so we can use this formula. Vector A is equals to lambda vector B.